Hello guys, there it's me, Cloud Maverick again, and I, well, got something for you. My mod that I promised I was going to review. This is the Notorious Infinite Clone from Sim Mapes. The, the mod itself was made by Infinite, but I bought it through Seven Babes. And, uh, this thing is nice, hefty, pretty damn cute looking. <laughs> but I have a couple issues with it. Like when I got it. My first big bitch that I have is that they didn't tell me I needed to adjust my center pin here. And the motherfucker shorted a battery. Okay, it shorted a motherfucking battery. That's not good. Okay, I, I, that battery is totally fucked. It's in the trash can over there. And it won't charge. My number two bitch. This center post was leaning so close to the other post that I thought I was going to do... I thought I was going to, like, short out on the whole thing. And that's probably what happened with my first battery. Honestly. I haven't decided yet what the fuck it was that did that. Because the little Deller insulator under this post was so uneven and poorly made. It looked like it was melted down on one side, so it was leaning. So I had to do an improvised piece of plastic. Like I grabbed a couple plastic bags, like a couple big Ziploc bags, pushed the center pin, like pushed it up against the uh, plastic piece, uh, pushed it up against the center pin, and cut an X right into it and then pull it through so I can make something where it doesn't touch on the inside of that so I don't get a major short but also so the center post don't lean so I don't get a major short ah, the button it's pretty damn fancy it's nice also these center posts I don't think they'd hold more than uh, 20 gauge honestly in my opinion these posts they're all the same size, but I don't think that hold more than 20 gauge. 20 gauge is pushing it. In my opinion, you probably could fit 22 in there. Pretty damn easy though. Uh, and I contacted the company. I contacted Seven Vapes. Not the company that made it, Seven Vapes. And asked for a little piece of Delrin to replace that piece on this. And they haven't contacted me back and it's been three weeks. That's ridiculous. But the button's nice. The button's real nice. Real nice button. The whole damn head is made out of Delrin. This right here basically. This right here is an IP uh uh Plume Bell Delrin 22650 clone, but as you can see the actual Addy is about the regular size, but the whole top cap is made to be like a 22650. And it fits flush with this. It's great. I also like the fact that it's a uh, hybrid. Believe it or not, I think hybrids work better. Now they do do shit like this where it leaves marks on top of your batteries. But I don't give a damn. I think they work better. A lot better, honestly. I can give a fuck less about that right there. It's, it's great. This is no tourist mod, dude. It is pretty. Only bitch was Addy, really. And it has a Pretty damn horrible volt drop, but what 22650 doesn't. Like, I had a quad twisted 26 gauge building here, dual, and it was chucking the vapor, but I can only get like two or three refills before the battery would be dead completely. Wouldn't even fire. I know you see that. Oh boy, she goes and she is a bad bitch. All right. <laughs> She's pretty damn decent for this to be. This is six wraps parallel on a. Uh, oh, let me get my drill bit set. Uh, what drill bit did I use? I think it was this one here. 964th drill bit. Yeah, 964ths. That's what I wrapped around. Six wraps, dual, parallel. You see it. Just waked up heavy. It's good. It works. And it does pretty decent clouds for it. And not a lot of heat. <laughs> but yeah. 
Those are my bitches and gripes on this mod. Also, they could have told me this whole damn thing was Delrin. <laughs> damn you, seven vapes. <laughs> Give me more details. It comes with it comes with this pretty decent leather pouch. I like this leather pouch. This fake leather pouch. It it's really nice. <laughs> you flex the shit out of it, it won't pop. It's good. It's good, it's good. Let me give you a little show of what this bitch right here does. This is probably the best mod despite, like it's the best working mod despite all the bullshit I had to go through with it on the first round. But now that I got her working pretty decent, I'd say she's better than most of my 18650s I had. Yep, you heard me. Better than my 18650s. I like it. I like how it's hefty. Nice and tight in my hands. See that? With my quad twisted, I could chase. You could cloud chase with this thing with that quad twisted. I probably need to uh, get some purple E-Fest for that quad twisted really because it heat warms up a little too quick for my comfort on these greens. But yeah. Also, I don't like telling you guys to my ohms on my builds because people like doing a lot of bitching and I honestly don't want to hear it. And I know my ohms are safe. I know how many seconds I can pull. I know all that. So, get off my dick if you got something to say. Because you don't know my own, so how are you going to try to tell me, Oh, damn, that's too low for those batteries. You can't. So, shut the fuck up. <laughs> she billows, man. She billows. Plus, she's pretty damn clean looking. I like the way she looks. Now see, put my mod in here. You can put two balls of juice in there too. Probably put three unicorn balls. Another interesting feature that kind of threw me off at first. This button is heavier than the whole mod itself, including the battery. You screw it in, right? You think you're going to try to use this lock ring here by twisting it the other way like you would do on most mods. No, you don't. You continue twisting in the same direction. Look at that. What the fuck? Holy fuck. That is crazy. <laughs> Reverse threading. And the threads? I know you hear that. And I know you see this. They're fucking smooth. Butter. All the threads, there's only two threadings, but they're smooth as butter. I like it. And she, she does a good job. She does what she's supposed to do. She's supposed to bait. She had an issue with this, though. I had an issue. I didn't like how that fucking center post leaned. That shit made me so mad. Okay. And also, the motherfucking O-rings. There's two O-rings. And they were damn rotted off. Okay. I had issues when I first got it with the bottom O-ring. And the second O-ring on the top, the first O-ring on the top, is still good. But the other one rotted straight off. But the, the uh, one on the top is kind of rotted too, but it's it's doing what it's supposed to. It's staying place, in place. O-rings in this motherfucker were shitty as fuck. And they didn't give me but one replacement O-ring. The drip tip. So, yeah, that's the only bitching and griping I got about this thing. I think. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and I blew a fucking battery because of the hybrid connection and all that bullshit. Uh, or something happened that made me blow it. When I first got the motherfucker. It pissed me off. I'm glad I, I had an IMR though. So it just vented. It didn't explode like fire. Oh, it just vented. Yeah. Well... That's it for me, you guys. I hope you guys had an awesome review and 
check my Instagram out. Cloud Maverick. Cloud underscore Maverick. Bitches. Peace.